There was a time in gardens when everything had to be sort of trimmed into a ball, dense foliage and flowers everywhere. But there is an argument too for those lacy plants that just sort of sit there and mm, they're just sweet and relaxing to look at. And this is one of them, it's an Australian native plant, it's called the rice flower, which I don't understand why you would call it that, but anyway they do. Uh, dreadful name, Ozomanthus diosmofolius, but the first three letters will get it for you every time on Google or whatever, O-Z-O. -O. It's available usually mm, around autumn and so on, flowers through winter, spring. This is the creamy white form of it that's a native plant, indigenous around Sydney and other areas. But now you can get it in pink forms and some orangey ones, even a yellow form. So there's a number of colour forms. You would probably have to go to a specialist native nursery to get it. So it's the native rice flower and the name starts OZO. And if you want something that is just a little bit informal like that in the garden, just a soft lacy effect, normally it's in this creamy version. You can see it just moving in the wind. It's very relaxing. You could put a seat out here, have a, I don't know, a PIMS or something, and just enjoy life. It's a lovely plant. So rice flower, and it starts OZO.